Hey guys, Spiderbot here! I'm <laughs> sorry! This stuff just keeps coming. I'm trying to keep you guys informed on our games we love. Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, you know? So I'm just trying, I'm trying, you guys. And giving my opinion, too. Anyways, we got new playlists being released uh, this Friday. As of this Friday, tomorrow, March 30th, 2012, for both Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. I'm sorry, PC guys. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. So they're adding three free-for-all gunplay modes. The first one is Gun Game. Yes! Oh gun God. Game! Uh, and they're going to actually be two variations of it. And you uh, you guys all remember Gun Game from uh, Black Ops, right? The first variation uses an 18-gun progression with two sniper rifles in the mix. To, and they go on to say, to separate the men from the boys. I'll link you to the... Uh, the message that just came out uh, through Infinity Ward. The second variation cycles six guns three times with no sniper rifles. So you're going to have to learn basically the six gun progression, blah, 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 pace yourself through the three waves, obviously. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, I, I imagine it's just going to be a random selection and you'll get to vote on the, the maps and, and the variations as well, I, I would assume, as you uh, complete games. All right, cool. The second, one in the chamber, yes! One in the chamber's back, baby! And uses the P99 handgun. I wonder if they're going to make any changes compared to the Black Ops version, but... Uh, players begin with one bullet and earn a bullet for every kill uh, with the gun or the tack knife. Elimination occurs after three deaths, but the last three players will be visible on the minimap to keep the action rolling. I think Black Ops was only the last two players, if I recall. Could be wrong, could be wrong. Eliminated players can chase remaining players in spectator mode. Yeah, that's fine. What do you mean, and back a winner of their choosing by selecting them? What the hell does that mean? Selecting a player that you're spectating gives you a hundred... Oh, that's interesting. That's kind of cool. So you basically watch the player, or spectate the player that you want to win, and if they win, you get 150... Or uh, actually, even just the kills, 150 XP for each of their subsequent kills. So you can still stay in the game even after you've been eliminated. That's pretty cool, man. So, and it keeps people in in the match basically because if you're the first one out on gun game, you'd probably leave the game. And and it used to be like wager matches, right, in Black Ops, and you wouldn't win anything anyway. So there's no reason to stay in the game. But now that's kind of cool because you're able to stay. You stay in the game and you gain XP. If you're the first one out, you still get additional XP just by spectating. That's that's awesome. I like that. I like that. I really like that. Okay, the last one is actually a variation that was created by the community, and apparently Infinity Ward loves it. Uh, it's going to be called All or Nothing, so I imagine it'll be in the community playlist. All players spawn with the USP-45 handgun, no ammo, and a throwing knife only. Uh, however, the loadout includes Hardline, uh, the Specialist Point Streak, with Scavenger in the first slot. So you get a kill, uh, so you got Hardline Specialist, you get a kill, you get Scavenger, then you're able to pick up uh, ammo. So as you get kills, you pick up Scavenger Packs, get ammo. Once you're killed, you spawn back with no ammo and start over again. And it's basically like one in the chamber meets Infected with, uh, they're saying, plenty of hilarity mixed in. So that's pretty cool. They're adding three more. I don't know if they're going to be removing any playlists. It doesn't say that they're going to be removing them, but that's not to say that they won't. But I think that's pretty cool. I, th I like the fact that they're, uh, they're adding these, uh, these different game modes. And it's not tied into the Premium Elite bullshit, right? Because that's something that they mentioned would be part of Premium Elite subscription. Well, I'm actually good, glad they're doing this outside of it. So uh, kind of reduces maybe some of the stuff, the value that they were saying for, uh, for COD Elite Premium, but uh, I, I don't think they should keep game modes relegated strictly to, to them. I mean, outside of the, uh, the ones that just allow you to play the new maps. So anyways, that's it. Bringing you the stuff. As always, for the games we love here on Next Gen Tactics, I'm Spider Bite and I'm out.